Hello and welcome to the next video and in this one we'll set up the distance matching for our walk stop and run stop functionality. So let's get started guys. So now I'm gonna open my animation blueprint. So in our blueprints folder we have animation blueprint. I'm gonna open that up and we have this animation graph. I'm going to open the base locomotion layer and in our locomotion state machine we have idle state and inside our idle we have our stop state so in our I'm going to open the stop state we'll have a stop state machine because we'll have two different states walk stop and run stop so I'm going to open that up here we have walk stop and our run stop function uh, states so now i'm gonna open my walk stop and i'm gonna search for sequence evaluator i'm gonna delete uh move it over here so i'm gonna first thing i need to do is set up the sequence to a dynamic value and next is set the explicit time to also a dynamic value i'm going to set the expose pin to false so here we have the sequence evaluator node and now we need a uh, two separate uh, two functions one is for our on become relevant and next one is for on update so for on become relevant i'm going to create binding and i'm gonna call this find walk stop any and i'm gonna move it to my state node function category so in this one we'll set up our uh, desired walk stop either we have the walk stop from right foot and left foot forward so currently we have only just one walk cycle a uh, walk stop so I'm gonna search for set sequence with inertial blending and make sure to check the sequence evaluator because over here we have the sequence evaluator so our sequence target target should be sequence evaluator library I'm gonna connect it over here and for sequence evaluator I'm gonna search for convert to sequence evaluator and over here we need to set up the desired walk stop so currently we'll have just one walk stop walk forward to idle so i'm gonna set that up directly so if you if you guys have two different walk stops a uh, right foot and left foot you can perform a boolean check and set that up accordingly and now we'll have our walk stop functionality is ready walk stop on become ready and next we need to do the distance matching for our uh, stopping so for that uh, i'm gonna create a new binding for on update because it will update on a uh, partic so i'm gonna uh, name this distance on update distance matching so first thing we need to create a function for getting our predicted stop distance so in order to get these nodes, uh, make sure you go to the plugins and you'll have the animation locomotion library and animation modify library. These two enabled, these two plugins should be enabled, should be enabled. And next, I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call this get predict did stop distance 
here's our predict stop distance function i'm gonna search for predict ground movement stop location here's our node and we need to plug in the desired inputs so for that i'm gonna use property access and we'll have the get movement component function already available and we can search here velocity sorry velocity and next we'll have the breaking deceleration fiction i'm gonna duplicate it remove binding and breaking deceleration fiction and next we'll need to plug in breaking friction breaking friction so i'm gonna open my notes i'll have here we have all the desired functionality already available so what i'm gonna do is just get predicted stop i'm gonna copy these from here and paste it over here i'm gonna connect the remainings you can just simply use the property access and search for the desired inputs and plug in over here so here's our predicted stop location i'm gonna use vector length and promote this to a variable which is called uh, distance to match so here we have distance to match variable and so instead of promoting this over here from where to variable because we have this a function i'm gonna use a output node and output the distance here's our distance calculation i'm gonna output it and for the categories i'm gonna set it to pure and thread safe these two enable so now we have the uh, predicted stop distance function available here is that so now we need to write the functionality for distance matching for that first thing i need to get my distance to match target node so here's our distance to match target node so before setting up that functionality uh, let me open my stop animations so here is our box stop and here is our run stop so before adding any functionality make sure we have all the distance curves available in our animation sequences so here i'm gonna search for animation modifier and use distance curve modifier i'm gonna right click and apply modifier so here we have the distance curve modifier available i'm gonna copy the name and similarly for walk stop i'm gonna add distance curve modifier there we go so now we have the distance curve modifier applied so in our distance to match target node we need to plug in the curve name which we'll be using for distance uh, to match against so in our animation sequences we have this curve here is distance i'm gonna paste the name over here distance and connect it over here and i'm gonna use this node and convert to sequence evaluator i 
and for the distance to target we need to plug it over here so we'll use our get predicted stop distance function and promote here to a variable that we have already created distance to match I'm gonna use not local variable here so here is our distance to match variable set I'm gonna plug it over here distance to match against so now if I we have our on become relevant where we set our animation for box stop and for on update we have the distance to match functionality so let's play currently you can see it will not play properly so for this in order to fix this we need so if our distance to match equal to zero means we reach the destination I mean we properly cover the distance if this condition becomes true if our distance to match is equal to zero then we just need to simply advance our time means we just simply play the remaining part of the animation so let's say at this point we reach the distance to zero so after that point we just need to play our animation uh, with the proper play rate so we don't need to match the target after this point so for that i'm gonna use simple advanced time node so context will be i'm gonna search for context sequence evaluator would be this and the play rate one would be fine make sure to connect the return node for both and for our false if the distance is not equal to zero then we need to match our animation to the desired distance so now if i compile you can notice our animation plays see our stop animation plays because the distance reaches to zero and we have the another issue while stopping if i give another input you can see the there's a animation jitter and the reason for that is if i print my distance to match variable print it over here print string distance to match so you will notice this becomes zero and when i gave another input the distance to match increases and that's why animation jitter occurs see and in order to fix this let me open the function again so for fixing this we need to check if we have acceleration i'm gonna search for acceleration and get the length so if our acceleration value is greater than zero let's say if our acceleration is equal to zero means we don't have any input so if we don't have any input only in that case we'll need to update our distance to match variable so if we have uh, if we have the input then we just simply advance our time where the current animation where the current animation reaches Af uh, after that we just need to simply play the animation advanced time simply use the advanced time so if we have if we don't have any input we then need to update our distance to match variable so here is our distance matching function is ready now let's give it a try 
see our box store functionality is properly working fine with distance matching so now let's set up the run stop with the same way so for run stop i'm gonna open box store functionality copy the node from here paste it over here and we uh, we just need to update our animation sequence because on update function uh, distance matching functionality would remain same for both animation cases because it will just play the animation and to match against the distance we just need to create one more function which is our find box stop and we just need i am going to duplicate it and call it find run stop find run stop animation so for run stop i'm gonna search for so here we have our yoke forward to idle here's our run stop i'm gonna put it over here and that's it we'll have our run stop functionality is ready so let's give it a try sorry and uh, we need to update the function over here so on become relevant instead of adding find box stop animation we need to add find run stop animation animation and now if i compile and hit play see our animation our run stop animation is also playing fine i'm gonna add one more improvement here upon my local motion state machine so whenever the states uh, we will change the state we we need to check our uh, always reset on entry so the reason for that is let me let me guide let me show you guys why i am doing this so if i open my state machine here play so here is our state machine see uh, whenever we uh, we are in run stop state and we just give another a small input so instead of doing it walk stop functionality it performed run stop because it never ends the run stop state so when he ends the run stop state if I gave the gave another input, he will properly play the walk stop animation. So, in order to do, uh, in order to fix that, if we have the small inputs, we need to play the walk stop animation. If we have, let's say, if our speed is greater than two hundred, only in that case we need to play the run stop. So if it's not that case, we need to make sure that always reset entry is true for both cases. So whenever we go to the idle state again, I will play the desired animation. Now you can see it's playing the box drop. Currently the animation are not very good because there is a so uh, there is a uh, spine goes backward when performing any stop animation and this this is the just the animation issue so we don't need to worry about this we can improve the animations uh, whenever we want so here you guys can see our distance matching is totally working fine for both run and walk stop so i hope you guys like this video and see you in the next one thank you